Oh, you're wonky. Why are you always wonky? Hey peeps, welcome to the first weekly waffle of 2022. As you have probably noticed, I am trying a kind of different video format on the channel at the moment. And the weekly videos are probably going to be every other day if I can manage it. They're going to be concentrating on one specific pattern or technique or a fabric haul or a review or a lookbook, those kinds of things. I'm going to be doing going back to the weekly waffles, which will be just a little bit of daily snippets from my life here and there, published weekly. And I'm going to see how that kind of works out. I wasn't going to do waffles at all this year. I was going to try and stick with proper videos. But I have got so much stuff that I wanted to just waffle at you guys about and tell you guys about. And I, I enjoy doing it. And I, I know there's a good core of you that enjoy watching this as well which is wonderful so I thought I would try this format where I do all my little kind of like random what rambly waffly tangents with you in a weekly video and then do the proper videos for the rest of the time. I had my appointment with my maxilla fish facial surgeon and orthodontist yesterday and it was not the news that I was hoping for. They have decided that they can't do anything for me. They are writing a letter to my GP who is going to hopefully refer me to the pain clinic. I did not have success with this a couple of years ago trying to get referred there and I don't know how successful it will be this time. As I say it's definitely not the news I was hoping for. I was really hoping for a solution like a fix and there isn't one which is not great but never mind never mind i cried a lot yesterday wallowed and there's nothing that i can do other than wallow i've got to research one of the treatments that i mentioned was botox into the uh, mastasis muscle which is what controls the jaw muscles they mentioned botox into those Although the surgeon was really, really kind of negative about about it um, because of the side effects. But if I can't get into the pain clinic, then uh, I'm going to maybe try that. So I'm doing some research at the moment, but we will see. We will see. It is one of those things. I was expecting like a magic wand, like we'll do this and the pain will go and it has not. So you know what? I just need to carry on doing the things that I love that distract me. So... I'm waffling at you guys about it, but that's the last I'm going to talk about it, promise. I also have some new Patreon peeps to say hello to, and I have not prepared at all, so my laptop is in my bag. Two secs. Also, my glasses seem to be absolutely filthy. So the first new Patreon peep is Claire Curtis. Welcome and thank you. Then we have the very lovely Laura, also known as Laura Nata. Welcome and thank you for joining the Patreon peeps. And last but not least, Daniel White. Welcome and thank you for joining the Patreon peeps. If you don't know what Patreon is, I will link a video up here and it's always listed in the description down below as well as my coffee account. I also want to say I have got a whole bunch of emails from you guys and they are going back to, wow, the 4th of December. Monique, I'm sorry, yours is the furthest away. Wow, I'm very sorry. I am working my way through my emails and trying to answer everybody. So I do get there eventually. It just takes me a little bit of time, but I will, I will promise I will answer all of my emails. In other news, you guys also bought most of the Cobra Corsage. Uh, there is a meter 40 left and I've decided to keep that for myself for a shirt. Thank you very much for buying the teal Cobra Corsage. I said to this, the surgeon and the orthodontist as I left yesterday, I told them about my, if I go to the dentist and I don't buy anyone, I get to buy fabric as a reward. And they, they both said to me that I deserve like the most amount of fabric ever. So I'm seriously thinking about this. It's 40 pounds a meter though. I mean, is there, is there ever a fabric that you've seen that's more me? Although I did say, send this picture to Wilson and just say, if you want to buy my birthday present early. And he said, don't you have that one already? <laughs> it's like, no, no, I don't. It's got completely different leaves on it. So like, <laughs> yeah, it did make me giggle. What else, what else? I still haven't gotten around to listing all of the patterns that I de-stashed last September. They are, the trouble is they're safely in a cubby hole in a box, so they're not taking up any room. So I'm just like, hmm, I'll get to that eventually. I'm also thinking that I'm gonna do the 9076 sew along in this fabric because I wanna double check all of the tweaks that I wanna to make to it. Because like I say, I'm gonna put in a side zipper, eliminate the front seam on the skirt. I want to fully line it and 
I can get more of this fabric and I can't get more of my my precious precious fruity navy fabric so I think I'm going to do it with this actually and I did say that this was going to be a sew along fabric so I think what I will do is actually use black bias binding or piping I'm going to make it myself out of some other viscose but I think what I'm going to do is use that to highlight the yoke pieces on the bodice because I think that would look really nice because whilst there isn't a lot of black in there there is that is kind of like a I, I was thinking hot pink but I don't think hot pink would quite be right although there is hot pink in this this colorway but yeah I think black piping to highlight the details on the bodice would be really really good I also th I also have the meter 40 that is currently in the wash that I'm going to use for a top and I have five meters of this and the pattern takes just under three so I'll have a little bit of this left as well I'm thinking I might try out the Vogue cowl neck shirt that I bought as an alternative to the 6563 and that one has long sleeves on it as well so I think I'll have enough left from this five meter cut and then the extra little bit that I've got to maybe do the long sleeved cuffed version of that Vogue top which is the 906 9006 I think that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking yes at the moment the video the proper video that I'm currently working on is making the navy dresses I have got the skirts done I've got one set of sleeves done I'm working on another Another set of sleeves which was what I was doing yesterday and when I came back from the hospital I was just like nope can't concentrate I'm also doing a standalone continuous lap video because that's featured in the 9077 sew along but that video is like an hour and 45 minutes and yes I have chaptered it but I thought a standalone video for the continuous lap would be a good thing to add to the mini tutorial series that I've done I, I'm getting quite a few questions from people just saying oh I'd love to see how you do this and it's like there's already a video for that so do check the mini series uh, mini tutorial series or the how to how i series on my playlists because maybe i've already done the thing that you're asking about anyway this is meant to be a quick catch up and i've been waffling at you for 11 minutes so i'm going to shut up and get and get on with the proper video for today then i will probably come back to you a little bit later and let you know how i've gone later sleeveless many many sleeveless so I've got my 9345, 9328, and the 9327 sleeves all complete. That took way longer than I thought it was going to. I, as I say, I'm on day four of this project. I'm, I'm not doing full days, I have to say that. And I did film a continuous lap tutorial using these sleeves to, to do that tutorial. So it did take a little bit longer to get that particular pair done but they're going to look so lovely they're going to look so nice so now i just have bodices to do they get progressively well it depends which way i do them the 9345 is a shirt dress so that's quite a complicated bodice the 9328 not too complicated but it does have a big oval in the back which i am not going to do it the way the pattern suggests i want to do it my way and then the 9327 actually quite a simple bodice just lots of darts to sew in so i'm going to get started on those tomorrow because i want some dinner it's half past six yeah but pleased with my finished sleeves did i not turn you off sorry good morning peeps happy wednesday i'm very excited i have managed to get mum to cave and i have ordered a velvetizer and it's arriving later today <laughs> I went through Hotel Chocolat and I did the subscription one because that way you got the Velvetizer half price. And I'm going to drink the chocolate anyway, so you know it seemed it seemed like a sensible option. Have made a slight rookie error and I only ordered mint chocolate, which is my favourite. But I know neither Mum and Dad particularly like it, so I can't immediately make them a hot chocolate for them to be like, oh yeah. This is good. So I can make dad a coffee though, so I will probably do that. And um, I am going to order some of the 70% dark chocolate. Maybe the hazelnut one? Because mum will like that as well. But something that mum's gonna like as well because I know she's going to enjoy it. I have not been doing very well with the weekly waffles, have I? I updated you on Tuesday, yesterday yesterday but I didn't kind of film anything else for it so I'm gonna try and remember that I'm trying to film for two sets of videos <laughs> and we'll see how that goes I am back down in the main house no I'm not I'm in the sewing room I'm from the main house back down into the sewing room and I am going to be working on day five of the navy dresses and today is bodice day and I'm gonna start with the ones that I haven't done before 
Okay, because I think they're going to be the most interesting. So wish me luck. Ooh. I also, last night I ordered bias binding, all the colours I've run out of, and the extra long zips. The 9327 said it only needed a 22 inch zip, but it comes up really high at the back of the neck, and the last time I'd put a zip in that high, I ended up not being able to get in and out of the dress. So I've ordered a 26 inch zip, which hopefully shouldn't take too long to arrive, because I really don't want this project to keep dragging on and dragging on, but we shall see. Anyway, on that note, I am going to get back to the sewing of the navy dresses. Mum has completed the Lisa Chandler quilt kit, cushion kit. Unfortunately, there aren't any more available, but you can get the fabric. And it looks lovely. Very nice indeed. Good morning, lovely peeps. Happy Thursday. Back down in the sewing room. I excitingly have a call with the Simplicity UK brand ambassador at 11 o'clock to discuss pattern envelopes which is exciting she's already implied that there's stuff that's happening that i'm not going to be able to tell you about which is a bit frustrating but um i will report back later and let you know how that goes gets bleh, i'll report back later and let you know how that goes on also project navy dress is almost complete i'm on day six of it but as i have mentioned a few times i'm not doing a full kind of like eight hour day on this project and i'm definitely doing other things in the kind of like interim as well but I have got two of them pretty much put together they still need all the linings attaching the back seam sewing up I think I am going to take the 9327 one in because it is two inches too big so I'm going to take it in by an inch and then I've got the 9345 shirt dress to actually sew the bodice of that means I need to cut a whole bunch of interfacing out for that one and then buttonholes buttons hemming and we're done I'm quite excited with how they're turning out I knew I knew I was gonna like those two dresses so that's why I've kind of powered ahead and used precious to me fabric which is not something that I recommend and I can't replace either of these fabrics naturale bouquet they don't make it anymore and it was a present from the lovely Nancy then the Eden Tencel rayon was from Darn Cheap Fabrics in Australia and they don't have it anymore and the only place the other place I found it Croft Mill Fabrics they've only got the cream colorway not the navy colorway which I also have I can't replace either of those so I was a little bit worried a little bit worried but as I've mentioned before I've made enough Vogue patterns that I know that they're gonna look good on me and I've worked out the kind of alterations I need to get a good fit so these were I mean there's basically fit and flare dresses they're you know fitted bodices big sleeves and flared skirts so it was going to fit in with my aesthetic as well so yeah it was it was a safe risk but it definitely was a risk and it's definitely not something that I recommend so when I tried both of those on it was just like I hope I like these but I did so that's good so I need to film my and set up my bullet channel for February and I need to film the process of doing that you guys said that you would be interested in seeing that which is exciting so I am going to get that done this morning like I say I've also got a call at 11 with the brand ambassador from Simplicity so that's exciting there's um, a whole bunch of new subscribers hello welcome thank you for joining the kittenish behavior peeps and if you didn't know my name's Sean I don't really introduce myself in any video I, I heard somewhere that you're meant to assume that people know who you are and just treat it like a, a welcoming back a friend kind of thing. So yes, welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining this little corner of the interwebs. It's very nice to have you here. I hope you enjoy. So anyway, that's enough rabbit. I'm going to try and get better at this weekly waffling thing. The trouble is, I'm because I'm filming for these other videos, I feel like I it's the same thing when I do a sew along. When I come to do the daily waffles, it was like I'd come to edit at the end of the day and I'd done like five minutes of stuff because... I filmed so much I felt like I'd filmed for the the waffle but I hadn't at all so yeah I'm gonna try and get better at these weekly waffles but I'm really pleased with how Navy Dress Project is progressing and I think I have decided that my first piece of Cobra Corsage that I'm gonna sew this might sound daft given that it's absolutely freezing <laughs> uh, I mean it's not it's about eight degrees out there so it's chilly but the first piece of Cobra Corsage that I'm gonna sew is the Chantilly 6891 shirt dress because you guys have been asking for a sew along for that one for the longest time which is fine and you guys have also been asking for a how to line a dress like that tutorial how to draft a lining and how to sew it in which I'm really really excited about doing so I think that's going to be the next project that I work on and I think I'm going to do hmm I'm going to try 
try and do the same thing that I did with the 9076, which is the too long didn't read version of the, you know, like really long hour and a half sew along. So I'm gonna try and do the making of the dress and then the sew along of the dress with the review in it as well. I need to get my head around trying to create two types of content from one set of, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, I think I can make it work. I think I can make it work because I know not everybody wants to watch a full like in-depth this is how you do the thing from start to finish. I know that you guys enjoy kind of like the sort of just general background waffle of making something and you really like the voiceovers rather than music over the time lapses which is great. These videos do take slightly longer to make and edit which is why I'm only guaranteeing that well not even guaranteeing that's why I'm saying I'm going to put one out every other day if I can yeah that's that's the plan that is the plan for the next and the first piece of Cobra Corsage and then then I think I'm going to do the sew along for the 9076 with my teal Cobra Corsage that's sold out in the shop by the way thank you very much to everyone who bought some it all got shipped out the other day and I have refunded all the excess postage and thankfully it was it was like three pounds and I think for the Diana who went, her fabric went to the Netherlands it was one pound ninety so the shop is pretty good pretty pretty good but um, I know that it's not great for America it kind of undercharges for America so I need to kind of work on that but yeah thank you very much to everybody who bought some anyway that's seven minutes of waffle now wow <laughs> sorry <laughs> clearly I miss chatting just chatting to you guys um, so I'm going to get on with some bits and pieces ahead of time because I have a call like I say in about 40 minutes so I can't quite start the video yet so I'm gonna get on and get some other bits and pieces done. My velvet ties has arrived. Okay I've taken the lid off because um, I can't do this one-handed but it came with these little coffee pods well the pod cups and they are the perfect size for the serving of hot chocolate that your velvetizer makes. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Now, I'm going to clean this, literally just fill it with water, a couple of drops of um, fairy liquid, and set it off again. Pretty much drinkable immediately, and I'm so pleased. <laughs> Dad has treated Mum to a lily silk. Uh, hopefully, she'll let me show you what she got. Cashmere. <laughs> Cashmere for Valentine's Day, but very early. Yes. Do you like? Very early. I love it. It's just so <laughs> and you, you were saying you don't have that colour for wearing no, under the things so yay thank you so I've just got off my call with the brand ambassador from Simplicity UK which is Amy and you might know her from Armoured Rock Sews it was a really positive call it was a really really positive call which was really really nice and it was really interesting to hear some of the story and background about why things have been taking as long as they have some ethos is that company the company used to have and kind of like were maintaining and things so yeah it was a really really interesting but very very positive call so that's awesome I've also as you just seen uh, the post has arrived so my velvetizer is here oh I've been very much enjoyed my hot chocolate I might sound ridiculous like waxing lyrical about hot chocolate but they are just something that I really really enjoy and I don't really drink hot drinks I've been drinking mint tea I like mint tea but dad accidentally bought the one with green tea in it and I not a huge fan of the flavour so I'm very happy to have a hot drink alternative which is nice. I also got these little macrame bracelets and I got them in they're all in these little they came in these little bags so I've got them in red, orange, yellow that I'm wearing today and green. After my appointment on Monday I was I was kind of, I was, I was, uh, I did use the word devastated and, and I guess that's accurate because I had been going through this process with the hospital to try and get a re resolution for the TMJ and the pain in my face and jaw. I managed to, the, the pain medications that they'd offered me hadn't worked and so I had decided to just go from appointment to appointment because I was going to have an answer like a definitive this is the thing that's wrong and this is what we can do to fix it the news that I got on Monday that there isn't anything that they can do and this is just something that I'm going to have to learn to live with was really I, I it wasn't a good day it wasn't a good day so a couple of years ago I had gone to a um, therapy 
I'd had therapy. It was, it was, I'd asked to be referred to the pain management clinic and they wouldn't, but they did refer me to a therapist. One of the things that we talked about was the fact that mum in, in the, with the best intentions and will in the world, she was asking me every day how I was feeling. And it was meaning that I was having to vocalize my thoughts about my physical being. And it, and it was, it was, it wasn't helpful. I was finding it detrimental. So I, I explained to mum that to mum and she has since stopped asking me how I'm feeling with regards to this specific thing, which is great because it means that I don't have to have a constant, a, a, a conversation about it and actually kind of like articulate what's going on. And I can't remember where I saw this system, but somebody had recommended like color coded bracelets for how you were feeling that day. And this, might sound really daft, but it was something that I could take control over and actually do. So I ordered these on Monday and it's Thursday today and they've arrived and it's from a seller on Etsy called Steny Mouse Creations and I'll list them in the description down below. I think her name's Chris Kristen. The, the pen smudged a little bit on there. She just sent me a card saying thanks so much for supporting my small business. I've ordered, she does them in every colour, but I've ordered the traffic light system basically. So I've got red, orange, yellow and green. So I added the orange in there. And it just basically means that I can let mum know how I'm feeling without having to vocalise it. Green is like I'm in pain, but it's totally doable. This is a, this is a good day. The pain, pain is there, but this is a good day. Yellow is... I am very aware of what's going on and this is not such a good day. Orange is, I am likely to be very spiky today. Very, very spiky. And red is probably never gonna get seen because if I have a red day, I tend to listen to an audiobook, lie down flat and try and not be in in my body when I'm, And again, I am very aware that I am dealing with, I mean, lots of people have said to me over the years, pain is pain and whatever you're dealing with is what you're dealing with. And I, on the scale of things, am pretty lucky that mine's not very often this bad. But yes, it was, it, this might seem like a really trivial, silly thing, but it was just something that I could take some power back over on Monday. So I ordered these bracelets and they've arrived. So if you start seeing these in the videos, then you guys now know as well what the color coding means. And you probably, like I say, won't ever see the red ones because red days tend to be days that I do nothing and don't venture outside of my room. But fingers crossed you'll be seeing more of the green days. <laughs> fingers crossed. But I just wanted to mention that as well because they are lovely. They're little macrame bracelets. They're really well made. They arrived really quickly and she has a whole host of colours. So even if you're not going for the traffic light system like I am, then um, they are very, very pretty and I like them a lot. So, oh, the other thing that arrived as well was my biltong, <laughs> which I'm very, very excited about. I just, I, I bought some of this for Christmas. It's just, on keto, it's just an amazing snack. So yeah, very happy with that. And then I wanted to show you this. I don't know if I showed you this at Christmas, but my best friend is an amazing artist and she painted this little card for me as a Christmas card and I've kept it and I want to put it up somewhere. I probably will frame it at some point and put it up in one of the wall on one of the walls in here because it's just so lovely. So unfortunately, poor little Susie's not had a very good night and we are taking her to the vet later. In fact, we are taking her to the vet in 23 minutes. So I'm going to have to go and do that. Then I'm gonna come back and film my bullet journal setup and I don't think I'm gonna get to my dress today. I don't think that's gonna happen. But that's okay because day six of making those dresses can start tomorrow, even though technically it will be day seven since I started the project, but day six of actually making it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how interesting these weekly waffles are gonna be because if it's just me talking to camera and then all the actual sewing content gets put into the other things, I suppose it might be interesting. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know what you think. If I need to change the format up a bit, a little bit, we'll see, we'll see. It's all experimentation at this level. So I'm going to eat my biltong. I am going to uh, check my emails and I'm then going to take the dog to the vet. And then I'll be back later for bullet journal setup because that video needs to go out today. So I need to do it, edit it and upload it. Wish me luck. Just come back from the vets and Susie seems to be totally fine. It might be another repeat of last June where she acts up and acts up, gets taken to the vet, we get a 400 pound bill to be told that this dog is in the best health we've ever seen. So yeah, fingers crossed the bill's not gonna be as huge, but it seems like she is fine, which is great. So I am back and I am now going to attempt to film my bullet journal setup. Wish me luck. 
I remembered I need to say goodbye to the waffle, <laughs> something I've been getting for the last couple of days. So I have filmed and set up my bullet journal for February and you will have seen the video for this previously but I'm really liking how this one has turned out. All purple, lots of purple flowers. So I think that one's really pretty. And I've already got marches all sort of like penciled in. I just need to pick a theme on Canva and um, work out which elements are going to go where, which is very exciting. I do really enjoy this. It took way longer than I thought it was going to be going to take. It's 20 past seven now. And I still need to finish editing it and get it uploaded and scheduled and, well, not scheduled, live this evening because it is meant to be today's video, which meant to have gone up way earlier today. But yeah, loving my velvetizer. I had two hot chocolates today. I won't usually do that, but it was just really exciting that's arrived today. So that's good as well. But it's not been the day I was expecting. I've done, I've done no sewing. The 9345 is still in pieces sitting here, but I am going to come down tomorrow and get that finished and hopefully the other two dresses completed as well. Fingers crossed. That's the plan. So on that note, I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hey peeps, happy Saturday. So Project Navy Dress has definitely kind of been um, put on hold for a second. I got thoroughly over obsessed and far more into my bullet journal setting up than perhaps I should have. So I've gone through till April and actually, right through to April, and uh, yeah, actually have also kind of planned out for the rest of the year. I was really enjoying myself and really enjoying the process so I've done that. I will film the setting up of each month and then I'll release it each month but I have a feeling that I'm going to as soon as the sticker paper arrives on Monday I'm going to get that done. My bias binding has arrived, the, all the colours that I've run out of so I'm now restocked. I will list in the description bar down below where I get my bias binding from, that's something I get asked all the time. These are pre-made polyester satin bias bindings, it might not be for you, I buy mine on the 25 meter roll because I use so much of it I'd rather have a roll of it than just buy say the amount for the particular pattern that I'm working on which is one of the reasons that the hem circumference on the back of the finished hem circumference on the back of the patterns is not the worst thing in the world but it shouldn't be the only measurement on there but as I say my conversation with Amy the other day from Simplicity was really really positive and I'm sorry I can't say more than that keep your eyes peeled next year basically I am back down here today I am going to start work on the 9345. I would really like to get all three dresses finished today. I think that's a tall, tall order because whilst the other two are pretty much done, there's still a lot of finishing work that needs doing for all of them. So I don't think I'm going to get them completed today, but I think I'm going to make a good start on it. So we shall see how that goes. So Susie is feeling much, much better as well. We have no definitive answer from the vet that there's something specific wrong with her. It could just be old age she is 13 and a half now bless her yeah there's nothing definitively wrong with her and they have given us some recommendations for kind of treating the pain as it is at the moment so we'll see how that goes i'm going to stick some supernatural on get this dress made and i will hopefully have something finished to show you by the end of today we shall see since i last spoke to you i've made myself a hot chocolate done some admin cleaned out the bias binding drawer and reorganized I still haven't gotten to sewing I don't know what it is about this dress I'm having a mental block I will get there you've got to love a fully stocked bias binding drawer that's actually not all of it I've got more in another drawer over the other side but very happy now that I have the colors replenished one eternity later project navy dress is coming along as well third one is basically the same state as the others they all now need to be finished but I'm stopping for the day. I need food. Definitely in need of food. Hungry. And it's ten past seven, so no wonder. I am really pleased with how I got on today. That is a really easy bodice to do. Yeah, just have a little bit of hand sewing to do on the inside, under stitching, then buttons and buttonhole time. I'm gonna double check and make sure I've got enough navy buttons. I think I've got enough navy buttons for for the shirt dress. I think I'm gonna have to use different coloured ones on the cuffs of the other dresses. Although coconut buttons could look really pretty on the shirt dress that I've just finished as well. So we shall see. I think I have enough in my stash to get them all done. It's been good. It's been good. I'm looking forward to the hangout tomorrow, chatting with you guys directly. But I have enjoyed sort of like waffling at you in this video as well. So you'll have to let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this weekly waffle. If you're interested in this, because I'm trying to, as I say, 
do the proper videos during the week and then I'm thinking Saturdays and Sundays can be kind of like sort of more informal waffle time but we'll yeah let me know in the comments down below what you think of uh, of these I will be interested to see I'm going to be interested to see how it all kind of comes out as well like I say I started editing this morning but it's going to be interesting when I've dropped all the bits and pieces in whether it's actually interesting or not we shall see. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to stop waffling because I have some editing to do and some food to make and eat because hungry. I think I said that. So I will see you all tomorrow for the live hangout and I will see you all this time next week for the next weekly waffle. Fingers crossed. I hope you've enjoyed what I have filmed and I'll see you all really soon. Bye!